Hello, I'm Cody Martin, a PhD student in the Anantha Raman Lab at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and I'm focused on developing bioinformatics software and tools to advance our understanding of how viruses affect microbiomes. Today, I will be talking about a database I developed called FameDB to catalog auxiliary metabolic genes in bacterial viruses. Viruses infecting bacteria, also known as phage, have been found to encode auxiliary metabolic genes, or AMGs, that they can use to manipulate host metabolism and modify host behaviors, all for the benefit of the phage. In the upper right is an example diagram of a phage increasing flux through a sulfur metabolic pathway in which the phage encodes two AMGs that are known to be rate limiting in this pathway. The ultimate effect that this has is that more ATP is generated for the benefit of the phage. Other examples of functions that phage have been found to manipulate include virulence and toxin production, other biogeochemical cycles like the carbon and nitrogen cycles, stress responses, and many other functions. This ultimately means that phage have the potential to shape microbial communities to a desired functional state to ultimately benefit themselves. However, a major limitation in the AMG field is that there is no comprehensive database to facilitate the study of AMG diversity and evolution across environments and different phage taxa. This means that researchers cannot easily quantify or put into context their studies on AMGs compared to other environments. To remedy this issue, this is why I developed the large database called FameDB to systematically characterize AMGs across all viral taxa and environments. To begin constructing this database, I first pooled all major repositories of viral protein sequences for a total of almost 100 million sequences. These databases represent environments ranging from oceans, freshwater, to soils, and host-associated microbiomes like the mammalian guts, as well as cultured viruses. I then used a clustering tool called MMSeqs to cluster these 100 million sequences into about 8 million protein families. And then to decipher the function of each protein family, I annotated these families against five different annotation databases. These databases represent generic metabolic databases like KEG and eggnog, more specific metabolisms like MIRAPS and Kzymes, also known as DBCAN2, and EFAM, which is an expanded view on viral protein families. Annotation was performed using a Python version of the hammer tool called HMMSERT. And finally, this resulted in 400,000 annotations, representing 6 million sequences in total. When bundled with all this metadata, FameDB encompasses over 82 sub-environments uh, grouped into four broad categories of aquatic, terrestrial, engineered, and host-associated environments. Given that this data contains a massive amount of information and was specifically designed to facilitate large-scale studies about AMGs, I just want to give you the sense of one type of analysis that could be performed. So to do that, I'm going to zoom into AMGs that were detected in bacterial viruses that live in or near a macroscopic host. So what we're looking at on the right here are three charts that are showing the normalized AMG abundance across different host microbiomes. Just to be clear, these AMGs were detected from bacterial viruses that all reside in or near these hosts, such as viruses in the human gut. It is clear from this plot that there are major differences in AMG frequencies when stratified by host. In particular, plant-associated phage appear to be the most frequent encoders of AMGs. Um, on the two plots on the right, I've zoomed further into both plants and humans to show that the AMG frequencies can be further resolved into different parts of each host. For example, the switchgrass sub-environment of plants appears to be the most common location where AMGs are encoded, while this location in humans is the airways. Although there do not appear to be many AMGs in the human gut in particular, this is still an extremely relevant environment for human health, so I want to zoom in further into the specific functional categories for this sub-environment. On the left is a chart enumerating the number of AMGs detected in the human gut for a given category of metabolism. I just want to point out to you that the x-axis is on a log scale. Now with that in mind, notably, folate metabolism is the dominant AMG pathway encoded by phage in the human gut. Folate metabolism is involved in single carbon transfers, which makes folate metabolism a branch point for many metabolisms, including cofactor, secondary, and nucleotide metabolisms. An interesting point is that humans cannot produce their own folate, and therefore they typically rely on the microbiome for folate and the diet. 
um, the result is therefore significant because it suggests that phage infected cells may be contributors to the levels of folate in the human gut. Other than ecology and evolutionary studies with AMGs, two tools that I'm interested in developing based on this database include an improved pipeline for in silico AMG validation. Currently, there are very few tools that attempt to validate AMGs by confirming that these are in fact viral genes and not bacterial genes, and none of these are standalone tools for AMG analysis. Also, to my knowledge, there is no such tool that attempts to confirm if these AMGs are potentially active or if they might just be dead enzymes. Second, a major roadblock in the field of viromics and viral ecology is bacterial host prediction, but AMGs are thought to be derived from their host counterpart metabolic genes. So one strategy that I propose is to use AMG homology to create bacterial viral networks that could potentially link phage to their host. So in conclusion, the bulk of the work was done to create and curate a comprehensive database called FameDB to catalog AMGs. The main purpose of this database is to enable cross environmental studies of AMGs to better understand the diversity and evolution of AMGs including which AMGs are more abundant and active in which environments. Just as an example of a small sliver of analyses that could be done, I showed that out of host-associated viruses, AMGs appear to be most abundant in plants, and in the human gut, folate metabolism appears to be the most dominant. Finally, I'd like to thank the Anand Raman Lab, as well as my funding from the NSF GRFP Award.